All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. We're back at it with more Emerge NYC gameplay. We're back on the Manhattan map. And uh, we're going to be taking R9 out today. I had a viewer leave a comment the other day. said, Spur, you, don't, you hardly take R9 out. Like, I just, I don't. And that's true. I really haven't. I haven't taken R9 out much on the uh, Manhattan map. Uh, you know, honestly, there's just not a lot of use for them. Like, there's a few calls that you can uh, run on, but uh, I really wish we would get some more rescue calls. And then, uh, since the new update, they've taken the uh, collapses out of the game for now until they optimize the way they load in. And so, we're, like, even more limited on the rescue calls. But we'll take them out. We'll do at least uh, one call, maybe two, uh, something like that. I'll tell you something else. Uh, I also just learned today that there's a station for R9 because when you spawn it in, he always parks on the street right here. And I never noticed the station over here. As long as I've played this, I've never noticed it. So we have a station for R9, so that's cool. Anyway, let's go ahead and get right to it. I hope you guys are having a great Friday. It is Friday. It's Friday, uh, the weekend is upon us. I am ready for it. Let's see, smoke from the second floor. Now nah, we don't want that. We don't need that. I kind of, I have one in mind we're going to run to. Uh, let's see. Yes, uh, a car crash. I think they go to this one because they fall off the bridge. So that seems kind of like a big deal. Maybe that might be a big deal. Uh, engine 31, ladder 74, battalion 5, rescue 9, squad 28. Uh, vehicle extrication uh, fell off highway ramp behind the address. So they fell off the FDR. They fell off the FDR. They're, <laughs> they're in bad shape. Let's go over there and look real fast. Let's pull up the menu. And uh, we'll fly over there. Let's see. We need to turn them around. Let's go turn it around this way. There we go. Oh, it's so nice to be able to zoom across the map. Like, <laughs> that. that's amazing. It, it blows my mind how much uh, the performance has changed on this game. Like, I still see some people have trouble with it. But I think for the most part, a lot of people have seen an improvement. You know, and I, I've always said this uh, update was very important because it needed to show the game was going in a forward direction as far as uh, fixes and improvements and the performance and stuff like that. So, anyway, here's our wreck scene. Uh, yeah, they did fall off the FDI. They got a bunch of uh, onlookers down here. So, we got uh, engine 31, ladder 74, squad 28. Um, let's see. Who could we... Let's... Uh, Let's go ahead and spawn some units in actually first because we can't do anything until we have those guys here. Let's do uh, 31. Uh, loads in so fast now too. Used to take forever sometimes, especially that initial pop. The first vehicle always took the longest. Then the uh, rest of them were okay. All right, let's do uh, 74. Let's do... Uh, who else? We need squad 28, right? Squad 28. We'll probably drive a lot of these guys here. We'll AI some of them. We'll drive the rest. And then we need... Um, uh, we'll do Battalion 5. I think they were called, right? 5th Battalion. There we go. Let's call him. Uh, we need an ambulance as well, too. Let's see. Let's... Oh, I went to the wrong one. Let's back it up. Back it up. Back it up. There we go. EMS. Uh, we, we could do Fortis... You know what? I think we're going to take dredge today because I want to see if the lights have been fixed on the rear. If you're not familiar with it, the blue lights on the dredge don't flash. The Fortis, they do work. The dredge, they don't. And let's get one police unit. Let's represent uh, the NYPD. Let's take um, let's take the Gazelle. There we go. And I think we're going to hop in the Gazelle first and bring it over here, which is going to be an Impala. The Impala Gazelle. All right, there we are. I've had so many people comment about wanting to do more with the uh, NYPD in the game. I absolutely agree. I wish we could do more. I've had several people just want me to do some kind of video. We may try to go out and see if we can issue some parking tickets or something like role play it out. But I mean, that's like all I know we could do. We can't do a whole lot as far as that. We really just can't. All right, let's go. All right, heading to the scene through uh, through Times Square. I guess it's down to the right, just a little bit there. Very nice. It runs so good, guys. It really just does for me. 
it really it just does for me now of course you know the update fixed a lot of stuff and then on the other hand i moved the game to my ssd and i think that made a huge difference as well um it should be back over this way because i've tried it once today already i'll go ahead and tell you how this went down i tried it once today already and I was gonna have the uh, the engine lay in from that hydrant over to the scene there, and I did the lay in AI function, and like the game completely wigged out on me. I don't know what uh, what was going on with that, but it didn't like it. So, all right, we'll have to get on the loudspeaker and be like, please step away from the vehicle, the burning vehicle, people. Y'all need to step back. All right, um, we've got this guy here. Is there someone trapped up here? Let's go take a look real fast. Uh, yeah, there's a fire over here for, sh for sure. Looks like there may be someone in there as well. Yeah, there's people in there and it's on fire. Okay, let's wait on the uh, the fire department. Okay, who can we get next? Let's, um, let's AI uh, Ladder 74. Let's AI him. I actually got to go down here and do it. Let's AI him. We'll block the street off a little bit right here. And let's get squad 28. We'll AI him as well. Put him down on the corner. And then we'll grab engine 31. We'll bring him ourselves. There we go. 74 is leaving out. There he is. Very nice. Engine parking brake lights. Let's go. Midtown Mafia. Uh, which way do we need to go is the question. All right, let's hang tight here for a second and uh, we'll get this door. There you go, now we're set, door shut. I'd figure out what was going on there for a second. All right, y'all hang on, let me through. We gotta get through here, we gotta go. Y'all, come on, tow truck, what are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? Go! Go, dude, seriously, go! Having to fight with this traffic, having to fight with this Manhattan traffic, it's bad. All right, I think go all the way down, swing right, and we should be like right there at it. Gotta go, people, it's a bad wreck. Someone's car done falling off the FDR. And we should be, yeah, okay, there we are. And make this left, all right, yeah, sweet. I'm not gonna lay in again, like we're just gonna have to head and pull the line. We're just gonna have to pull it by hand. There's no, I'm not trying that again. I don't know what happened, I don't wanna test that out again, so. Really, we really shouldn't even need to hook to uh, a hydrant, honestly. Like, it should uh, it should be enough water on this rig to uh, to do it without it. We'll see. Let's try it without. If we have to pull a line, then we will. All right, uh, let's stop him here. Set the parking brake, and we'll hop out. Get going here. Let's see, let's just pull from the, yeah, let's pull from the rear here. I'm also testing out uh, this go around. I bumped all my graphic settings all the way up max. So we're gonna see what it does. I may have to uh, bump them back down a little bit. All right, let's go to the front here. And we'll get this knocked out real fast and then we'll get um, R9 here and... All right, let's get the pump going. Like we're grabbing the line for some reason. The lines are still a little bit, just a little bit kinky, kind of kinky weird. 
It definitely looks like the line is charged though. Like you can tell, it looks like it's under pressure. I guess that's the best way to explain it. I've been like the last video, I was trying to think of a good way to uh, explain how it looked. And it, it looks like it's under pressure. Like it's got some pressure to it now. All right, I think we're good here. I think we got this out. Let's soak it down real good. Just make sure. Okay, yeah, that's good. Let's go ahead and drop this down over here and uh, we'll get the rest of the units here. Let's go jump on. Um, let's do R9. We'll bring him. Sweet. First time out of the station ever. Like the few times that I have taken R9, it's always been on the street. All right, we loaded up, ready to go. Let's get out of here. Let's zoom back out. There we go. Get the door. And let's pull all this back up because I gotta see where I'm going. Not exactly sure from here. It looks like maybe just straight down and then back up. Let's go back this way. Let's actually, let's go down one more block and then we'll There we go. Now I think we're good. Come on, get out of the way. What are you doing? They, they wait till the last minute and it never fails. All right, let's hang this right. Squad has still not showed up. What the hell are they doing? Uh, there must be something wrong with them. We'll have to go check that out in just a second. Get this hydrant right in the way too. Come on. Easy, easy, easy. There we go. All right, let's roll uh, R9 back here. And we'll park him behind the uh, engine. This is gonna be a pain for him to get out of. We'll park him right here. All right, let's go. Let's see what squad's doing. What is squad doing? Well, we found squad, but he's like, he's in upper Manhattan. I, I don't know why. Like, why is he way up here? That's weird because he spawned. This is his station and they went way up here and then he hung up on the curb. I don't know what's up with that. All right, we'll grab him. We'll see if we can grab him. Let's see. What is that function though? I can't remember. Uh, which one is it? Uh, drive, direct control. Here we go. Okay. Yeah, I I don't know what's up with squad. They took the grand detour or something here. Uh, sometimes that happens with AI. You know, I don't, I don't think I've ever seen like a perfect AI anywhere. <laughs> Just that's all right. We'll get him over there. There we go, now we're set. There we are, there we go. Just need a little help, that's all. Just a little help. We got him here though. He's good now. We're all good now. We're good here. All right, let's see. Battalion five. We'll bring him down because I don't think you can still AI battalion. I need to. Uh, I need to play around with that off uh, video sometime. I don't like testing a lot of things out during a video because you never know what happens. And then uh, if it bugs out or uh, crashes or whatever, then you're out of video. So. 
I don't uh, I don't get too crazy with it with experimentation. Let's grab this guy and uh which way back? I think no we can't go that way. Let's go on down. Nice. Battalion. There's another one I don't take out a whole lot. It's really just not. Come on. People just don't want to clear the way. Man, traffic's kind of heavy today. Oh, what are you doing? What are you doing? <laughs> Call the insurance adjuster. We're here. We're practically there. The uh, the siren sounds a little warbly for some reason. I don't know what's going on with that, but we'll park this guy right here. There we go. Sweet. All right. Who else we got? We've brought... Uh, it's going to be another one of those responses where it's like uh, 15 minutes of response for five minutes of actual call time. So it is what it is. When you drive everything, it is what it is. So... Uh, the ambulance, that's going to be it. Let's take the dredge. Let's bring him. Let's see if the lights work. I'm curious to see if that was fixed. I don't think so. No, they're not. Okay, yeah. On the, uh, the Fortis, the, uh, the blue lights work as well. They kind of alternate back and forth. This one doesn't. That's all right, though. It's not like a big deal. All right, let's see. Let's go this way. There we go. All right, I think we're good with this. All right, people, move out of the way. Y'all know the routine. You got to go. Postman says, I'm just going to deliver this mail to the door, actually, while I'm at it. <laughs> just going to hand deliver it to the door. Pull right up to Whoa, wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Dude. Like, he didn't care at all. Like, <laughs> no cares were given on that intersection. This uh, this siren is really quiet. I can barely hear it. I got my system down kind of low because I don't want to come back through the audio, but... Here we go. Pretty nice scene. Not too bad, right? Not too bad. All right, let's bring him. Oh, what's going on with that? It's a little jumpy there for some reason. All right, here we go. We'll roll up back here. We'll jump on R9. We'll get this guy out, and then um, we'll call it a day. I think that'll be it. Here we go. Sweet. All right, let's jump on R9. Let's grab him. Uh, let's see. That'll be good right there. Getting turnout gear. Uh, turnout gear. There we go. And let's pull all this other mess down. We don't need all that up. All right, let's go uh, assess the patient first. Let's see what happened to the fire. What happened to the hose? Uh, weird. Okay, that's some definite weirdness right there. I don't know what happened to the hose, but it's up on the FDR now. This looks like it's going to be a passenger, right? Or did he just get slung around in there? like marbles in a, a can or something. Maybe, I, I don't know, but he's not in the driver's seat. Um, okay. Sir, can you hear me? It's the uh, New York Fire Department. I think he's out, if, if not dead. One of the two. <laughs> One of the two, he's not doing good. All right, let's grab, um, let's grab the Jaws of Life. We gotta find him. Where are they at? Right here. Here we go. Sweet. Right, let's grab those, and we'll go get this guy out real fast. We'll get the door off, then we'll get the patient stabilized. D. All 
I can't tell. Is this working? Like, like we're a little too far away. Maybe we'll try it this way. Uh, maybe not. Let's try the front up here. Yeah, it doesn't seem like we're having any luck. Let's keep trying. We'll keep trying. If not, we'll just pull them out through the uh, through the window, I guess. It's already busted out. We might could try the other side, the uh, the driver's side. It looks like maybe it popped loose. I think it did. I think it did pop loose. It's just not. Yeah, I think we popped it loose. Let's uh, let's grab a hook or a pike or something to see if we can pull it out. I think it's just like wedged in the car. All right, let's put this bad boy back. And let's get, uh, grab our pike. I guess I should try the driver's side first before we put that away, but. It may, it may come out. It may. Hmm, maybe not. Uh, yeah, I guess I was wrong. It doesn't look like, it looks like it's popped loose though. I, I don't understand, like. Yeah, it's moving. It's moving. It's moving. We just got it. There we go. Yeah, the pike just doesn't have any effect on it. Oh, crap. We just pushed it back. Like, come on. This door is giving us a hell of a time. <laughs> like, seriously, come on. I just need the door to come down. Come on. Oh, I wish the pike would just grab it. Yeah, that would be, I think we're actually grabbed like we're poking the patient, but we're not. There we go, finally. All right. All right, let's, uh, let's drop you over here. Actually, let's uh, let's put this back. We'll put it back. We'll get the backboard, and we'll come. Uh, we'll start treating them. Get them stabilized, and get them out. Here we go. All right, backboard. Let's grab you. Let's see, let's drop this over here out of the way for now. There we go, nice. All right. What's going on, sir? Can you hear me? How you doing today? Let's see. Oh, yeah. He's got some things going on here. Orin Lelig. Lelig. Orin Lelig, I guess, is his name. All right, let's get you back up. Looks like he's got a broke arm. He's not breathing black soot around his mouth and nose. Audible trouble breathing. Oh, it keeps, like, my character keeps backing up. I think one of my uh, controllers is, like, interfering here. Smile fluid leaking from left ear. Fixed people semi-conscious. Patient's not breathing. Patient's breathing is slow and shallow. Facial lacerations. Minor birds. Breaths per minute. Zero. Temperature 90. Possible spinal neck injury. Uh, lower arm deformity, possible razor or ulna fracture. Shoulder is dislocated. Damn, this dude is jacked up. Yeah, it keeps backing me up. Come on. Uh, his temp's 90, his pulse is zero, his blood pressure is nine over nine. Uh, yeah, he's basically dead. Let's, uh, let's apply a C collar. Let's do that. Let's get his head stabilized and uh, I think, yeah, let's try to drag them out if we can. I don't know if we're going to be able to. He seems like he's kind of wedged in there good. Yeah, he's not, like, he's not moving at all. Okay, um, let me move him to the backboard. There we go. Oh, <laughs> he dropped him. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry we dropped you. <laughs> He's dead. He doesn't know the difference right now. Let's, we got to bring him back. We got to work on him. So all this stuff like is irrelevant. He don't know. He doesn't know. He doesn't know what he doesn't know. We dropped him on his uh, head. It's like the TikTok. Who's going to know? 
who's gonna know? <laughs> All right, there we go. All right, um, let's go ahead. Let's jump on the paramedic. Let's jump on them and we'll start working on this guy. Join, there we go. Get our stretcher. We got him on the backboard. He's good to go there. Oops, I didn't mean to hit that. Let's go there. Grab our stretcher. All right, let's roll this over there. We, we should be set. We're going to bring this guy back. If, if we do it the right way, we'll bring him back. We'll give him some, some epi. We'll push epi. That'll bring him back for sure. I don't know why that hose is doing that. We're going to go around, though. All right, let's drop this off here. Let's lower it down. And let's see, how do I do this? I think, uh, stretcher. Move patient, nice. Okay, all right, let's get started. We got things to do, guys. We got like a lot of things to do. Let's pull you back down, let's hit H. Let's go to his good arm, let's start an IV. Um, let's splint this arm. Let's splint that. Uh, what else we got here? We can, uh, uh, let's hook him to vitals, maybe. Hook the vitals, there we go. All right, we're good on that. Let's uh, go to his head. Let's um, administer oxygen. Let's uh, intubate. Last time I gave rescue breaths, it didn't seem like it did any good. Uh, CPR didn't either. Like, neither one of those seemed to have any kind of effect, so. Let's, um, let's give him epi, let's push epi. And let's hop back out of this. Pull you back up. Let's go to the vitals monitor. Where are you at? They cha it changed up. I don't know where it's at. Where's the vital monitor? <laughs> the vitals monitor. I don't know where it's at. Uh, uh, no. Where's the vitals monitor at? I don't know where that went. Like, it used to be the little black TV screen, and it's not... No, oh, he's still dead, too. The epi didn't work. Like, we did push epi, right? We've got him. He's on the vitals monitor, right? Correct. All right. Yeah. Uh, but I don't see the IV. Did the IV not start? We need to... Uh, okay, let's try this again. Go do his good arm. Oh, his blood pressure's come up, so that's good at least. Uh, let's... Give him IV fluid. It doesn't look like it's working, right? Let's uh, push Epi again. We'll push Epi again. This could be bad, but who knows? Yeah, the vitals monitor is going. We're, let's see. Can we do it the old school way? Uh, shock patient. Attached to ventilator. Let's go in and do that. See, he's not even showing oxygen either. I don't, this stuff may be bugged out because it doesn't look like any of this is working. Can we do that? Nope. Uh, yeah, none of this is working. Yeah, this, none of our stuff is working. Let's take a look again here. Yeah, I don't know, guys. We might have to write this dude off. Like, none of this is working. Usually we can bring him back, but this time it's not working. He did come back. All right, yeah, he's uh, his pulse is 55. His blood pressure is 102 over 52. His respiration is zero, though, so. Ah, oh, shoot, we need to do something for his breathing. Yeah, we need to do something for his breathing. Um, he's, I could have swore we intubated him. Like, none of this is working. Oh, he's a bloody mess now. Like, what's going on? <laughs> What's going on? I don't know, guys. I don't know. We've intubated him. We've put him on a ventilator. I, none of this is working. It's not working for my man here. He, it doesn't look good. It doesn't look good at all. None of this stuff is working. Yeah, our little, uh, our little screen for our vitals monitor is gone, so we can't look at that. We can see it on paper, though. All right, his respirations did come up to seven. Pulse is 54, his blood pressure is 106 over 56. So yeah, he's uh, his respirations are really low, but he's back with us for now. All right, let's get him loaded up. Let's get him loaded up. Let's uh, raise that, grab you. We'll get him out of here. 
He's kind of with us. It's real dicey though. This is this isn't good. We're gonna have to get him out of here fast. Yeah, I, I don't know what happened to the bottles monitor. It used to be a little uh, a little black TV monitor down at the bottom of the screen. You could click on that and it would bring it up and you could read his vitals, but uh, I guess the update changed that and I don't know how you access that now. If anyone does, leave me a comment, let me know. I have no clue and I'm not getting the visual, like usually when you start an IV, you have an IV bag and all that stuff. When you put them on oxygen, you have the uh, oxygen mask. Um, none of that stuff is showing up now, so I, I don't know. I don't know what's going on with that. All right, let's get that closed up. All right, guys, that's going to do it for this one. I hope y'all enjoyed. If you did, please be sure to hit that like, subscribe, ring that bell. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. Uh, give me some tips on the Vitals monitor if anyone knows because I'm, I'm at a loss. I don't know what happened to it. So thank you all for the love and support. Love all you guys, and we'll catch you on the streets of Manhattan next time. Peace.